last year and they go into this free lying in 10th place we got scheduled for us throw triple axle didn't work in the short program fingers crossed for tonight it is of course Rena Inouye and John Baldwin <laughs> The music for this free program is Pompeii. Start side by side triple toes, no hesitation there. Double twist. Yep, double axle, double toe loops. Big throw. Throw triple axle. Go on! Oh, what a shame. Made the rotation. Would have been worth seven and a half points if she'd made it. and change of position on the lift but not a lot of ice coverage
Well, that was almost exceptional. One of the best skates that I've seen from them for quite some time. Taking the gamble, going for the big throw right at the end of the program. Certainly into the, the final minute or so. Seven and a half points it would have been worth if they'd done it. That's the base value of it. But of course they're going to get a one point deduction for the fall. I think they made the rotation, which is key. But on the whole, a very, very good performance from them. Just the one mistake. And they're milking it for all it's worth. Well done. Yeah, balanced routine for me. I like to see the, the choreography giving the breathing points as within the four and a half minutes, keeping going flat out for that length of time. Impossible. Just run out of steam. I suppose it is possible if you're a, a cyclist or something, but in ice skating terms, if you skate, I can't remember anybody that skates flat out for four and a half minutes. So having points within the overall choreography and the music where you can breathe important, and that routine did that very well indeed. Not to me the skating quality that we see from some of the others in terms of the flow over the ice and the smoothness and the amount of ice coverage. And some of the alignments in the arms not as precise as we'll see from later on. It really was a cracking start to the program though, wasn't it? That side-by-side -side triple toe, there's the split double twist. With their arm gainly on the way out of that, into the throw triple loop back outside edge and boy oh boy did she work hard to try and make that count again not the most graceful of landings but she hung on in there and it really would have been super if they'd made that triple axle and so so much what it's about isn't it you have to really work to try and land everything here's the axle well she made the rotation which is a good point and it was in the second half of the program so they get a 10 percent increase on the tariff looks hard on the ankle and she lands like that doing that day after day gosh these girls are tough they certainly are lots and lots of injuries and we were talking about the the americans having young skaters these two finished second in u.s nationals the couple that won mclaughlin and brew baker too young to compete here this year like the ladies like the ladies of the three of them weren't there couldn't compete gosh so here we go where are they going to put them i would think straight out in front 126.38 is the leading score at the moment but uh, these two should go shooting into the lead and with a technical score like that they're going to yes by some way as expected, Inui and Baldwin lead 157.20. That the new target and a new season's best for them. Two deductions.